Mm -hmm. I just wanted to mention that I heard that Quill Scene School District is out for the summer. Yes. <laughs> that means my five sons are living someplace other than with me. Now, um, there is some influence that we need to recognize. <laughs> You're the sheriff, yes, of Jefferson County, Sheriff Joe, mm -hmm. or Sheriff Bill Benedict, mm -hmm. there have been some old families in both counties that have been very influential, yes, about the enforcement of the laws. Mm -hmm. Now, I would say that the Rothschilds decided to build a place there, the Rothschild house, yes, so that they could actually live in it. Oh. Now, it might have been a summer residence. Oh. <laughs> a place that they would go to get away from it all. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my thought is the owls having a little bit of an influence, yes, on what's really going on here. And since uh, there is the importance of the enforcement of the law, yes, uh, we need to look at this because I sent you an email that documented forgery. Yes. It documented the falsification of a marriage application. Yes. It documented the malicious harassment of Marilyn Van Proyen. It documented that you took my sons without any due process of law. And for some reason, these old families of Clallam and Jefferson County, yes, that have been deciding what the government employees are going to do, yes, don't realize how criminal it really is. <laughs> now, when, you, when you're in, in this old family, huh? sheriffs, do you realize that I wasn't in Jefferson County on June 16th of 2017? Did you understand that when I was emailing you, yes, uh, the actual forgery, yes, fraud, mm -hmm, felony, yeah, violating of the civil rights of myself and my sons, yes, you have completely ignored the laws of the United States. Now, let's look at the old families of the county. Oh, well, a logging's been around for quite a long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then there, there's there been some fishing. Ooch, some little mermaids. <coughs> exactly. What have you been doing? Screwing the pooch? I suck. Now, the laws have to be enforced. <laughs> and every time I documented a crime, yes, you decided to go the way of the family. <laughs> now, this morning, I talked about cruel, infamous, uh -huh, and unusual punishment. <laughs> See, the idea that you're going to dismiss a case, yes, against an individual, <laughs> and then you're going to label that person as being schizophrenic, oh, or bipolar when you refuse to admit the evidence that they didn't they they weren't in the city of the the crime yes now um this idea that you're going to have cell hearings yes for individuals where you know they weren't in in Brennan Washington yeah and you know that they were not emailing the employees of the Brennan School District or the Quilcene School District yes now, this involuntary administration of antipsychotic medication oh, uh, during my supposed rest restoration period. Yes. See, when you refuse to acknowledge the evidence, seems to be some influence. Now, if I was to look at the Rothschilds from the time that they built their house, yes, until today, <laughs> did they have any offspring that happened to live right now? Why don't you get me the actual ownership of all the assets of the Rothschild family? Yes, since 1862. <coughs> now, um, this concern that I have, yes, on September 19th of 2017, I was arraigned on charges of cyberstalking in a violation of the domestic violence no contact order. <laughs> the same ri.pdf, yes, that I've been emailing for the last, oh, well, three years and seven months. Pope. Now, you as a court have said that you can use a forgery. I have said that you can't. Mm -hmm. You as a court 
said that the petitioner didn't have to appear in court. <laughs> I said she does have to appear in court because she has to acknowledge and give consent to the order being issued. Yes. I said you do have to have proof of service. Yes. Before having court hearings. You said you didn't. Now, um, it is very cruel, infamous poop and an unusual punishment to say that somebody does not lack the competency to stand trial as a result of mental disease or defect. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I provided the evidence, I wasn't in Swim, Washington. Now, do you understand that your dismissal of the case is a punishment? Ouch! <laughs> it's cruel. Mm -hmm. Infamous. Yes. And unusual. Yes. To dismiss a case against the accused <laughs> when you refuse to admit the evidence of their innocence. <laughs> now, I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life <laughs> allowing for you to say that I'm schizophrenic and bipolar. Because you wouldn't admit the evidence. <laughs> Do you understand that you gave me a sentence? Yes. Of mental disease or defect? Yes. Because of... <laughs>